D is doing D things. I haven't used that term with him yet. It's from, if you haven't watched any of my Tommy Johansson videos, I have a very recurring phrase saying Tommy is just doing Tommy things. D is just doing D things out here. He's just, yep, mm-hmm. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Harmonic Chaos. I hope you're absolutely all having a blessed day today. Now in this episode, I am checking out the much requested El Amor MT. Probably didn't say that correctly by, I still can't remember how to correctly say his name. Uh, like I read it before starting the videos and then just all of a sudden my brain is just like, nah fam, forget that. So uh, I'm gonna read it again, just to refresh my, my memory in between now and starting the recording again. So yeah, but uh, with all that being said, let's just jump into this, shall we? So I just was reading comments on the Who is uh, D video. Someone's like, yeah, we just call him D or we call him D, isn't it? It's pronounced D mush, D mush. But then also someone said the A as in like bard, like D mosh, D mosh, D mush. I'm still very unclear how to actually say it correctly. So we're rocking another opera. Okay, all right. And also it looks like this is a digital show or at least so far that he's on a big screen. Cause yeah, that's a video. I mean, you can very clearly tell that he was like, green screen probably I hear a lot of D singing high like way on up here but I I feel like I've only ever heard him sing in the lower register a few times. It was this and then Olympico. He sung in his lower register as well. But I like I love the depth and the richness of the of his low end. It's it's ridiculous. <laughs> But I'm still very confused as to what's happening with this show. The Almaty concert, because this is just a, a pre-recorded thing. Unless he's singing like perfectly in the background, this is kind of just like a recording. <laughs> Huh? What is that noise? That, that's an interesting, that is interesting the way that his voice sounds here. Okay. And then just like that, back to the way he was singing. Also me saying, this is just a recording. Doesn't actually change the fact that he is still a phenomenal singer and he still did the performance. It's just weird that it isn't, that he's not there, I guess. Also, I'm completely distracted now because I was just like looking at him. I'm like, why does he look like Count Dooku? And that's the only thing that I can see now is just him being Count Dooku. But anyways, uh, welcome to my brain, I suppose. Uh Wait a second, is that him? Is he there? Oh, maybe he is there. But is he getting projected onto a big screen? Because it looks like he's there on the bottom, kind of left. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. So you see a 
those shoes that he's wearing? He's got like platforms that are this big. He, this man, when he was doing this performance, is like 6'5". Because he's already 6'3". And he probably has an additional two inches with those shoes. So he's, this man's out here being 6'5". What is this nonsense? <laughs> There is his like middle range. Yeah, he's just out here being, D is doing D things. I haven't used that term with him yet. It's from, if you haven't watched any of my Tommy Johansson videos, I have a very recurring phrase saying, Tommy is just doing Tommy things. D is just doing D things out here. He's just, yep. Mm -hmm. Was there an interesting keyboard setup that was getting rocked right there? Just, so what was it? It was a Nord by the looks of it? Yeah, so that's a, I think that's a Nord. Interesting, so they're having a, they're, they have a live band playing, but just a recording on the screen. That's, I'm very confused about this show. I'm very confused. Also, I just saw the headband that one of the audience members was wearing that just has like deer in lights. <laughs> nice. You know, I'm really okay with the, the fact that basically this entire song is in this lower register instead of having it i know i said it earlier where I'm, normally he's way on up here but i'm i really enjoyed the fact that it's he's basically singing entirely here instead it's just it's a nice juxtaposition to the normal performances that he has with the range he normally normally sings in <laughs> And I mean, obviously he's still singing a little bit up there, but like not way, way, way up there. Player three has entered the game. Also, as soon as I say that, he's just <laughs> shows up and starts singing super high. Uh, so if one's light and one is dark, Who's this guy supposed to be? Is he going to hit a whistle tone here? Is he going to do it? Because I think the hardest, they're the highest that I've heard, the hardest that I've heard him sing. My brain just screwed that up completely. The highest that I've ever heard him sing, I believe, was in Diva Dance. So I wonder how high he's going to go here. I thought he was building to something. Man. Hey, there he is. Wait, is that, is that him? Wait, oh wait, is this? It sounds like he's rapping, honestly. Like this right here sounds like he's rapping. I'm gonna back that up. He's rapping. This is, this is rapping. He's not, well, I mean, he, it's kind of a hybrid between rap singing, but he's most, like this is mostly rap. Okay. And there's the high note. I still don't understand what's happening with most of this performance, but this is awesome. This is, it's unique, it's different, it's cool. I'm here for it. What was 
happening with that teleprompter? <laughs> you can just see it just just scrolling really, really quickly. Either either that's supposed to happen or someone royally messed up and they're like, oh crap, gotta scroll. Oh no. Okay, this has just gone completely off the rails. I am so here for it. I'm I'm excited to see how this how he pulls all this together. Bringing out the full band and the pyrotechnics. All right, let's go. Let's go. That was an epic. I am pausing it a ton here on the back end. I'm well aware of this. If that annoys you, I'm sorry, but I'm enjoying this a lot. And just all of the like the unique like little things that are just happening. And yo, this is this is cool. Like that shot right there of him walking away with the fire just like going. That is an iconic shot that few people have of them. Like few performers have. But that is like. I'd hate to put such a like a brash title on it, but that's that's such a rock star moment right there of just like walking away, your shirt billowing, and then just fire just going. Like, yeah, y yes. I'm so. One thing that I've learned about Dimash, when he brings it down here, or, or D, when he brings it down at the end, it's gonna crescendo. And I am excited. I am very excited for this crescendo. And then popping it with the low. All right, coming in with high hair next. Again, going back to this. So is this supposed to be just like, you know, like the angel on your shoulder and all that sort of stuff? Is that what's happening here? Like everything is really cool and like it's a unique concept. I'm still just ever so perplexed about it, but yeah. That run there at the end was so subtle and sweet, man. Yo, that, that was cool. I'm actually kind of glad it didn't crescendo like I thought it was going to. I'm glad it ended like that. It is not often in my life that I can say that I'm glad that I was wrong about something, but I'm glad I was wrong about that because I like that ending was much, much better than the one that I had thought it was going to. But with all of that being said, that was El Amor Antin NT by D. So with all that being said, I hope you absolutely did all enjoy as much as I enjoyed making this video and I'll catch you guys all next time. God bless.